Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here uh, recapping all the products that I wanted to use up in 2020 and how I'm done with them. But before we jump into any of the details, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. But I usually start talking about the products I actually have here with me. So these are the products that I currently have here with me. And the reason why I don't have everything is because I actually haven't saved all my makeup empties for this year. Um, I have moved this year and uh, with the move I just decided not to keep any kind of makeup empties with me. Uh, so I have only saved them per quarter. So if you want to go back and see all, any of the empties, I do have quarterly empties, declutter and purchase I think it's called. That you can go watch to see everything that I used up. But for the products that I don't have here still, I will probably insert a picture if I can find any so you can see, see the product and get an idea of what I actually used up. But um, I do also have my list here of everything that I have used up and also the things that I haven't used up. So I'm going to just start going through the list from top to bottom. Uh, also note that the order I'm talking about them in is not the order that I used them up in. Uh, if I can remember when I used them up, I will mention that. But um, I'm just going to wrote but I'm just going to go through them in the order that I wrote them down in my notes. So the first product I have to talk about is the Benefit Matte uh, Rescue Primer. So I only had this in a sample. It was probably about this big. Uh, again, if I can find a picture, I will insert that. Uh, I used this up quite early in the year. I put in a project. I think I put it in my put in my partnering cream, I believe, uh, and I used it up that way. It only took about a month of use to actually finish up, so it wasn't too hard. So that is the first product that I finished. Next up is one that I actually do have here still, and that is my Shiseido UV Protective Liquid Foundation in the shade Dark Ivory. I really wanted to use this up, up this foundation because although I really, really love it, it was one, too dark for me. Um, I could use it on its own in the kind of dead of summer or if I went on holiday when I had my maximum amount of tan. Um, but overall it was just a bit too dark for me but um, it, and it was also getting really really old but I do love 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 this foundation and unfortunately I don't think they make this anymore but if they did I would definitely consider repurchasing this one uh, because now it is completely used up. Uh, the next product is probably the one that I finished up I think first this year and that is the Leo Eilid Triple Dissolution BB Cream. Again I'm going to insert a picture of what it looks like. I only had a tiny tiny amount of this left at the beginning of the year so I finished it up I think even in January. Uh, so that is another thing that I did use up from my original list. The next product is the most recent that I have finished and that is the Berry Laurels Pure Transformation Night Treatment uh, and I have mine in light. So this is actually not um, technically a makeup product I think. It was um, kind of like a powder you applied at night um, and it has some coverage to it and I think it was just supposed to be really good for your skin. I did buy it originally in, in that kind of matter because um, I was just really intrigued by it but Honestly, I didn't really see any difference in my skin, so how I actually used this up was as a setting powder, powder specifically kind of underneath my eyes. There were times that I actually used this on its own as a powder foundation, and it did work okay. Um, and yeah, I have actually finished this up, um, and I think it's only been about a week since I actually finished this. So like I said, it's very, very recent. I am also pre-filming this, so I think when this goes up, this has been done for like about three weeks. But anyway, it is completely empty, which I'm super excited about. The next product is uh, eyeshadow from YSL, and this is one of their Cotto Mono eyeshadows in shade number four. And you... And if you are a old subscriber of mine since the beginning, you probably know which one I'm talking about. This is one that was in my first ever product pan back in 2018. And um, I did use up majority of it that way uh, through that project, but I had a little bit left and I just never reached for it. So I threw it into this lift just to hopefully finish it up and I was actually able to do so. Again, I don't have it here, but I will have a picture up. Um, it was obviously not full though. And the way I used this mainly was as a contour powder and it worked really well for that for me. The next product that I have is actually the first product on this list that I haven't actually finished yet and that is my Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is one that I had on my list to finish this year and I have not finished it. Um, I think I already had pan on this at the beginning of the year but as you can see I have expanded the pan a bit and it is getting low. Um, this is definitely something that I will roll over to the makeup that I want to finish in 2021 and I'm really really hopeful that I will actually use this up next year. Um, this year I've been more focused on kind of um, cream bronzer and uh, using actually darker foundations as 
uh, bronzes as well. That's how I use this one up towards the end. I use this kind of out the outside of my skin as a bronzer and actually that's what I'm wearing today as well as my bronzer. I'm not wearing this. So I think that's why I weren't able to get through this product this year. But um, yeah, I think, like I said, I will definitely have this out next year. Uh, speaking of cream bronzers, I the next product I don't have with me again, but it was the Bourjois Bronzing Primer and I did use this as a cream bronzer. So this one I put in my, I think, the Summer Project Pan and I put that in and I did finish it up. Uh, it was a beautiful product and originally I barely had used it because it wasn't something that I really knew how to work with. But I actually ended up falling in love with this and I'm a bit sad that it's gone now but I, I don't think I would repurchase it at the moment because I have a few other things that I want to get through before. But yeah, it was actually a really, really lovely uh, night thing. The next product is one that's probably one of my biggest achievements this year finishing up and i do have this uh, i didn't finish it up this quarter but i just kept it because it is a mac product so i can back to mac it but this is actually my mac soft and gentle highlighter and yeah it's completely gone as you can see i'm so excited to have finished this up i did have a little bit of pan showing of this at the beginning of the year but i completely finished it up which is super exciting and it's just so satisfying seeing this completely empty grid pattern and yeah it was such an achievement for finishing this up. I also think this was probably my first ever highlighter or at least one of my first um, Nice Albatross might have been before this one, I can't remember but it was yeah it's super duper old I think from like 2000 maybe 13 so it was about time to finish this product up but yeah I feel really really good having this completely empty. Next up we have another highlighter and this is um, a cream highlighter. This was like a deluxe size sample again and it was the Cover FX Enhanced Click in the shade Bubbly. I did use this up in summer um, it ended up being a little bit too dark for me and that's why I really hadn't used much before. But I, what I did end up doing is I actually mixed this in with some um, kind of moisturizer and I used it more as a primer because I felt like it worked better that way. So I did actually finish this up but again I don't have it with me at the moment. Next up we have another product that I actually haven't finished and this is one that I haven't really worked on at all to be honest and that is my Dior Rosy Glow Blush. I wanted to use this up because it is one of my absolute favorite blushes and I just haven't gotten much use out of it over the last couple of years but I was working on other things and again due to my partners in cream Produce pan I was working on a few cream blushes or I used lipstick seal blushes so this one was just something that I didn't reach for much and that is why I haven't used it up and as you can see I haven't even hit pan on it. Um, also I mentioned this before but this part here um, that's just what happened when I tried to repress it. It cracked a little bit in one corner and I added some alcohol and it went super strange so I'm happy that I didn't try to repress the whole thing. Um, but it's it's nothing kind of bad going, it's just some alcohol in there. But anyway, um, I don't think this is something that I'm going to work on next year. I will probably try to get some more use out of it. But I, yeah, I don't see myself finishing this up next year. But um, anyway, I, but I am happy that I... But I'm happy over the use that I've gotten on this one and I'm not too upset that it's not gone yet because it is, like I said, one of my favorite blushes in my collection. The next product is actually another one that is a real achievement uh, but I don't have it here with me anymore and that is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Um, I did finish that up. I believe I had one of the shades finished already at the beginning of the year but I had two shades left. And like I said, I did completely finish that up this year. So that is another one that I'm really proud of that I have out of my collection now. So the next product or the next two products I still have here, um, one of them is one that I have had uh, in one of my products this year and I've been working a ton on and now when I actually have these two together because this one I haven't really worked on I can definitely feel the, the weight difference, it feels so much lighter but both of them are the Rimmel Apocalypse um, and I have two of them. I believe the peachy one is in Luna and I can't remember what the pink one is in but um, I used to call them the peach and pink one. But um, anyway, I haven't finished up either of these. The peach one, like I said, is getting really, really close. And I was thinking that I might be able to finish it. And actually holding it up in front of my ring light, I can see that it's not much product in here at all. But I'm working on a few other lip products that I want to get through at the end of this year. Or I was um, over the last kind of two months. So I just didn't really want to reach for this one. And also it is a color that I absolutely adore in summer, but it doesn't really go with my skin tone as much when I am paler in winter. So I decided to actually push this into next year and just finish up next summer because I don't think I'll have any issues finishing it up next uh, year. Um, but I knew that if I was gonna continue working on it this autumn and winter, um, it would be more kind of a 
forcing myself thing. So this one is rolling into next year, but we are going to discuss the pink one as well because I haven't really worked on this at all. And I have actually decided to declutter this one, so it is still leaving my collection, um, although I haven't finished it. The next situation is actually really, really similar. I do have two glosses from Eye Candy uh, in collaboration with Tanya Burr, and one of them is in the shade Picnic in the Park, and the other one is Just Peachy. Um, Picnic in the Park is the kind of darker one. It's not that dark, to be honest, but this one is super light. Um, I have decided to continue working on this one and hopefully move it out next year because it's not done at the moment. But then with the uh, Just Peachy, it's just so milky that I can't really reach for it and it's just super hard for me to wear. So I decided to, instead of forcing myself to use this, I am just going to declutter it. So we have a few more products to go. The next two were both lip glosses from Colourpop. They were both in the same size and they were these kind of deluxe size minis. Um, I do have one here, the other one I already thrown away. But this one is in the shade... I think this one's one in the shade Weehoo. And the other one was Finders Keepers or the other way around. But those were the two shades that I had and they are both finished. The next product is another really, really recent one, and that is my Benetint from Benefit. I just had this little sample, and I finished it up in my Partners in Cream product pan, and I'm so excited to have this done. I wasn't sure that I was able to move this out, but I'm super proud that I did actually manage to hit my goal of finishing this this year. And you still have to know that was actually the last product that I was able to finish this year from this list. The last two products are both Colourpop Ultra Matte Lipsticks. And I do have one of them here. The other one I completely lost. I don't know where it is. But to be honest, I would probably have decluttered that one anyway. Um, this one is in the shade Seesaw. And the other one is in the shade Solo. I did work on Solo in my Partners in Cream product pan for a while. But I just didn't enjoy wearing it. And the formula is just so thick. And it's not really my preference anymore. So I did decide to declutter both of these and I do have I think four um, ultra matte lipsticks from uh, Colourpop still in my collection but um, I feel like those are all shades that I do enjoy. I might go through and declutter maybe one or two of those but for the moment I do enjoy all of them but like I said the last two products in this list were both decluttered. So this year I did have 20 products on my list originally and I did actually use up 12 of those which is really really good. Uh, then I also ended up decluttering four, so that's in total 16, and, and then out of the rest I didn't actually finish those up. So four products I didn't use up, I think three of those will roll into next year's um, product I want to use up, and then one of them I will just put back in my collection. So overall I'm really really happy with what I've managed to use up this year for this project, and although it wasn't really like a official project I did always have in my the back of my head that I wanted to use these products up. A lot of them actually I never ended up putting in projects I used to kind of use organically on my own um, and I feel like next year when I do this list again I think I'm going to post that in January but when I do post that list and have that list ready I will probably try to put majority of those products in projects because I just feel like I reach for products way more if they are in projects. So that you guys is it for this video. I did really really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please let me know if there's any specific way you want me to do this this next year because like I said I'm gonna post like the introduction to this in January and I will introduce all of the products but this year I didn't actually do any updates or anything and I just really wrap up now um, in December so if you do want me to do it differently next year just let me know but otherwise I hope you're having an amazing day and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys!